Why do commuting operators have a shared eigenbasis? In quantum mechanics, we often use the fact that if two operators commute, then we can find a basis of functions, which are eigenfunctions to both operators at the same time. But why is that? We claim that if two operators A and B commute, then there is a set of basis states psi n, such that psi n is an eigenfunction of A and B. Now let's prove this is true. Let us assume that psi n are originally the eigenfunctions of A, with corresponding eigenvalues A n. Now we define a new vector called phi n, which is defined as the operator B acting on psi n. Is this new phi n also an eigenvector of A? If we let A act on phi n, we can write it as A B acting on psi n. Since A and B commute, this is the same as B A acting on psi n. Recall that psi n are the eigenfunctions of A, so this yields the eigenvalue A n. What remains can be written as A n phi n. So yes, phi n really are eigenfunctions of A. Now let us consider the following two cases. In the first scenario, the spectrum of A is non-degenerate. This means that all eigenvalues of A are different. Since phi n and psi n had the same eigenvalue of A, they must be proportional to each other. Therefore, phi n can be written as some constant lambda times psi n. But phi n is just an abbreviation for b psi n. So this looks like an eigenvalue equation. Therefore, the functions psi n are eigenfunctions of b. In the second scenario, A has a degenerate spectrum. Let us assume that both psi m and psi n have the same eigenvalue a m. This means that both phi m and psi n also have the same eigenvalue a m. However, we don't know exactly how psi m n and phi m n are related. Therefore, we write them as a general linear combination. Depending on the numerical values of c1, 2, 3 and 4, we can write a linear combination psi tilde m and psi tilde n such that when we apply b on these new psi tilde functions, we get the same functions multiplied by some constant. And this is an eigenvalue equation. Here comes the important part. Since the new psi tilde functions are still eigenfunctions of A, and they are now also eigenfunctions of B, we completed the proof. Note that we considered the case of two degenerate eigenvalues for simplicity, but it works the same way for higher degeneracy. In summary, the following two statements are equivalent. First, A and B commute. And second, A and B have a common eigenbasis. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.